This song isn't enough. Grab your tissues for this one. The majority of us spent the last year staying home and missing our loved ones. Well, this mother-daughter pair just recently reunited in person after being forced to wave from a window for more than a year. They're ready to soak in every moment of this Mother's Day weekend. I can look in her eyes and I can read her like you wouldn't believe. Joan and Pam are quite the pair. We've always just, I mean, we're opposite in ways, but so alike in ways, and just have always been buddies. They have an irreplaceable bond. I think I did a good job. But this mother-daughter duo lost something important during the pandemic. COVID robbed them of their physical connection. It was, it was very hard knowing that no one was touching my mother, you know, with their own flesh, skin, holding their hands. You know, and I missed her. The pandemic hit just weeks after Joan moved into her home at the fountains at Boca Ciega Bay in St. Pete. Christmas, she was home when all the kids were home and grandbaby, everybody. So we had a great Christmas. And then we moved into memory care and we were just getting settled and having a really good time getting to know everybody. And um, then one day I couldn't come anymore. To stay virus free, Pam and her husband could only visit from the parking lot, getting creative to stay close. So I would visit you outside the window, teaching her to talk on the phone. So we would talk on the phone and wave. I've not moved away from here. So that was the longest period in my, my 60 years that I had been away from my mother or not been able to hug her. But finally, they got their long awaited reunion captured on camera. Because I didn't know, like many people, if we were going to ever be able to do that. Mm -hmm. And it was just, I wanted to touch her face. I wanted mm -hmm. to tell her I loved her. I love you. <laughs> They're soaking in those moments now more than ever. Well, I'm not going to let her go. <laughs> I love you. I'll always be there. She will. Oh, they're such a sweet pair. That connection is tight, isn't it? I know. Joan and Pam, and Joan is so proud of her Pam. They are such a sweet couple. This was such a, a precious interview to do, but you can also tell that they're such a good time. Yeah. They plan to share mimosas for Mother's Day, and then Joan likes a uh, British pub that's around the corner, so they may take a little stroll. Nothing wrong over with to that. The pub. You know, I enjoyed the story, of course, but I enjoyed the story about the story that you were telling during oh, the break. I know, I know. Their, their whole interview is really worth listening to. They're just so funny. Uh, Jabari, I say these are the type of stories that, that make your allergies act up. Yeah, it's grab not it. tears, just it's a tissue, right? It's just dust. I love my mama. I cry thinking about her, so oh. I, absolutely, I love my mama.